Joining me now is Albert Liu. He is founder and CEO of Neron, and this company is a provider of edge AI solutions. And Albert, you know what? I see you have a new product that you've launched just here at Computex. Welcome to CNBC. Tell us about it. Yeah, this is a quite special uh, chip. Uh, which we call NPU and embedded in this PC. This is a low-end PC without any GPU inside. And you can see it can launch offline GPT. So that's quite unique on the market. We just, we just want to uh, like emphasize that even the low-end low chip, uh, like uh, the CPU, can combine it with our NPU and enable the offline GPT capability without any GPU. Today at Computex, you've launched this PC, some other products, an Edge AI server, this AI NPU PC. Who is buying your products and who is your target customer? Uh, actually, Neuron is a pioneer uh, globally in NPU, and we have a bunch of customers, like including Naver, the largest search engine in Korea, and also Hanhua, the largest uh, defense and also surveillance company in Korea, and also Zhonghua Telecom, and also Quanta. And uh, Panasonic is also our customer. And even aftermarket, we sell our device to Toyota. So uh, I think the main purpose of uh, NPU is trying to bring the intelligent and also the GPT offline uh, capability to all the device. And uh, the, the main product we launched today, we call the Neo 300 and Neo 330, which we can help you to build, build your personal GPT and also your company own GPT. You also have an Edge AI chip. Now this runs at 10 equivalent tops, server at 48 tops, and but we're hearing from the chip giants at Computex and they're basically announcing products at much higher performance. What is the value proposition here? Uh, I think for AI PC era, it's just going up right now. So it's really in the very beginning. So many of big giants, they definitely have their uh, chip main processor, but there are still different market where even uh, the, because the AI model is like uh, going so many different type of AI are, uh, model just release day to day, right? So somehow when they build the design after half a month or even after half a year, they feel probably the computation power is not good enough. So the benefit of Neuron's chip is we call the reconfigurable AI chip. We can add on our chip with them. For example, last year Qualcomm and Earth announced in RB1, RB2, they partnered with our chip KO 720 and enhance their AI capability up to four times. They can add one or two or even four. And then with different type of the computation power to support different market needs. Now, balancing privacy and the benefits of using AI, people are looking at edge AI devices. Now, with exponential growth expected in AI, do you think the edge is going to be able to keep up? Yeah, definitely. For edge, we call that it's more like dollar amounts like AI. They have an individual intelligence, and the cloud AI, we know probably that will go to more uncontrolled or uh, without regulation direction, right? Maybe uh, go to terminator side or something. And in some industry, for example, uh, financial institution or medical center, they have uh, privacy concern. And even high tech company, they need to keep their confidential information locally. Then we can provide those solutions to them.